Welcome to Nazare. Sun comes up to Nazare. Waves crash loud, they play. Surfers ride the morning light, shining bright. What a sight. Okay, welcome to our video on Nazare. This is going to be a fun one. I have been looking forward to editing this one together. The town of Nazare is one of our favorite places we stay at in Portugal. We had a great time and enjoyed both all the daytime and nighttime fun things to do. So sit back and enjoy our video on Nazare as we show you both day and night. Let's get started. Nazare is a picturesque coastal town in the Oeste region of Portugal. Known for its stunning beaches, vibrant culture, and historical significance. Here are some key points about Nazaré. Nazaré is located along the Silver Coast of Portugal, approximately 120 kilometers north of Lisbon. The town enjoys a temperate maritime climate with mild winters and warm summers. Sea breezes often moderate the temperatures, making it a popular year-round destination. Nazaré has a rich history dating back to prehistoric times, with evidence of early settlements. The town's name is believed to have originated from a statue of the Virgin Mary brought to the area in the 4th century by a monk from Nazareth. The town is known for its traditional fishing practices, colorful boats, and distinctive cultural attire. Women often wear traditional seven-layered skirts, which are part of Nazare's cultural identity. Nazare's beaches are renowned for their beauty, and are popular with both locals and tourists. Praia de Nazaré, the main beach, is famous for its golden sands and lively promenade. We had a great time walking up and down the beach area and stopping in for a cold beer at one of the local shops. Nazaré has gained international fame for its massive waves, particularly at Praia do Norte. These waves, caused by the underwater Nazaré Canyon, attract surfers from around the world. Some of the largest surf waves in history have been recorded here. It's a long walk out, but well worth it to see the waves and the surfers out in the water. Nazare is known for its seafood, with many restaurants serving fresh fish and shellfish. Traditional dishes include calderada, fish stew, and grilled sardines. I also had some clams and my wife had shrimp, plus a lot more. We ate out many times enjoying the seafood and drinking some beer or wine. Historically, fishing has been a cornerstone of Nazare's economy. While tourism has grown, fishing remains an important industry. In recent years, tourism has become increasingly significant, driven by the town's natural beauty, cultural heritage, and surfing reputation. Nazare is accessible by road, with good connections to major cities like Lisbon and Porto. Public transport options include buses and trains, although the town itself is compact and walkable. Nazaré's blend of natural beauty, cultural richness, and thrilling surf conditions make it a unique and attractive destination for visitors from around the world. Nazaré Lighthouse, known as Farol de Nazaré, is a prominent landmark in the town offering both historical significance and breathtaking views. The lighthouse is located on the fort of São Miguel Arcanjo. Perched on the rocky promontory overlooking the Praia do Norte, North Beach, and the Atlantic Ocean. The fort of São Miguel Arcanjo was constructed in the 16th century to protect the region from pirates and invaders. The lighthouse was added later, in 1903, to aid in maritime navigation. The lighthouse originally used oil lamps, but has since been modernized to use electric lighting. The lighthouse provides a stunning panoramic view of the Atlantic Ocean, the coastline, and the town of Nazaré. 
it is a popular spot for tourists to take photographs and enjoy the scenery. The cliffs of Nazare are a prominent natural feature that adds to the town's dramatic coastal scenery. From the cliffs, visitors can enjoy stunning views of Praia da Nazare, the main beach, and Praia do Norte, famous for its big waves, as well as the vast expanse of the Atlantic Ocean. The cliffs of Nazare are formed from limestone and sandstone layers, shaped over millions of years by erosion from the sea and wind. This erosion has created unique rock formations and caves along the coastline. There are walking paths and trails along the cliffs, offering opportunities for leisurely strolls or more adventurous hikes. These paths provide different vantage points for admiring the coastal scenery. The cliffs are a favorite subject for photographers, especially during sunrise or sunset when the light accentuates the rugged textures and colors of the rocks. Later on in the video, I will show you the place we rented. It was a four bedroom apartment, or in the US, we would call it a condo. Just a short walk to the beach and everything in the area. It was a fantastic place to stay and more room than we needed. As you are watching our video on Nazare, please like and subscribe to our channel. It will only take a few seconds, but this will help us out a lot to help more people find our videos. The Nazare Municipal Market is a vibrant and essential part of the town's daily life, offering a wide array of fresh products and local specialties. The market is centrally located in the town, making it easily accessible to both locals and tourists. It's a hub of activity and a great place to experience the local culture. The market is known for its wide variety of fresh fruits and vegetables, sourced from local farms and surrounding areas. Seasonal produce is abundant and often sold by small-scale farmers. As a coastal town with a rich fishing tradition, the market boasts an impressive selection of fresh seafood. You can find fish, shellfish, octopus, and more, all caught by local fishermen. We did pick up some shrimp we cooked at home and enjoyed. Meat and poultry. Vendors offer a range of fresh meats and poultry, including locally raised options. There are also cured meats and sausages, such as the popular Portuguese chorizo. We also had some custom steaks cut we cooked. The market is a bustling place where locals come to shop, chat, and catch up on news. It's a lively and social environment, giving visitors a real sense of the local community. Bring cash. While some vendors may accept credit cards, it's advisable to bring cash, especially for smaller purchases. The market's central location makes it easy to reach on foot from most parts of Nazare. It's a short walk from the main beach and other attractions. The Nazare Surfing Museum, also known as the Fort of São Miguel Arcanjo Museum, is a significant attraction for visitors interested in the history and culture of big wave surfing. The museum is housed within the historic Fort of São Miguel Arcanjo, which is perched on a cliff overlooking Praia do Norte. The museum is dedicated to the history of big wave surfing in Nazare. It features exhibits on the evolution of the sport, highlighting significant milestones and achievements. Learn about the legendary surfers who have conquered Nazare's massive waves, including Garrett McNamara, who set a world record here. The museum showcases their stories, achievements, and contributions to the sport. See a collection of surfboards and other equipment used by big wave surfers. This includes boards that have been customized to handle the unique challenges of Nazare's waves. Learn about the scientific and geographical factors that create the enormous waves at Nazare, including the role of the Nazare Canyon. While the museum is interesting year-round, visiting during the big wave season, October to March, can be especially exciting, as you can witness the waves in action. The coastal weather can be unpredictable, so dress appropriately and be prepared for wind and potentially cooler temperatures, especially in the winter months. The Nazare Surfing Museum offers a captivating glimpse into the world of big wave surfing and the unique conditions that make Nazare a legendary destination for surfers. It's a must visit for anyone interested in surfing, maritime history, or simply experiencing one of the most dramatic coastal locations in Portugal. Praia do Norte, located in Nazaré, is famous worldwide for its extraordinary waves and stunning natural beauty. 
Praia do Norte is situated to the north of the main town of Nazaré. It is distinct from the more sheltered Praia de Nazaré, which is the main beach directly in front of the town. The beach is accessible by road and has parking facilities. Visitors can also walk from the town center, though it is a bit of a trek. Praia do Norte is renowned for some of the largest waves in the world. These waves can reach heights of up to 100 feet, 30 meters, especially during the winter months. The unique underwater Nazaré Canyon is responsible for these massive waves. The canyon amplifies the ocean swell, creating the colossal and powerful waves that Praia do Norte is famous for. The beach is a global hotspot for big wave surfers. Surfers from around the world come to Praia do Norte to challenge these waves, often with the assistance of jet skis for tow-in surfing due to the sheer size and power of the waves. World Surf League, Praia do Norte, hosts events from the World Surf League, attracting top surfers who come to compete and showcase their skills on these massive waves. Nazare has a small fishing port that is central to its maritime activities. The fishing port of Nazare is situated near the main town center, close to Praia de Nazare and the Cidio district. It primarily serves the local fishing community, where traditional fishing boats, called bot or batera, depart and return with their catches of fish and seafood. Local fishermen may offer fishing excursions for tourists interested in experiencing traditional fishing methods firsthand. Nazare offers a vibrant and diverse nightlife, catering to a variety of tastes and preferences. Along the main beach, Praia de Nazare, there are numerous bars and cafes where you can enjoy a drink with a view of the ocean. These spots are perfect for relaxing and watching the sunset before the night kicks into gear. Experience local culture in traditional taverns, known as Tascas, where you can enjoy regional wines, beers, and snacks. These venues often have a cozy, intimate atmosphere. Some bars and clubs feature live music performances, ranging from local bands playing traditional Portuguese music to modern genres like rock and jazz. We went out and enjoyed some live music at a local pub. Okay, folks, we are in Nazare. I think that's how you say it. And uh, we hit the grocery store and we're in our apartment. This is a really nice place. I love this. I love, we could live here. I, I like this a lot. And we just cooked a steak dinner. Mm. And I'm drinking some of this wine. It's very different. It's very fruity. I've never had anything like this. Maybe it's sangria and I don't understand what it says because I don't understand the language, but it's very <laughs> fruity and sweet and quite powerful tasting. But there's our steak. This steak was uh, like under $6. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we bought four steaks, lots of food and everything for the next couple of days. We're going to be here five days. I'll show you the inside of this place tomorrow when it's lit up better from the sun so I get a little bit better video. Okay, this is the living room area of the Airbnb we rented. Dining room table over to the right. This was a very, very comfortable living room to stay in. We really enjoyed this place. And here you can see the dining room area. It had a uh, plastic covering over the glass. This was just so, so nice. We, we really enjoyed this. This is the kitchen area. Everything that you would want in the kitchen. We got some laundry going there over on the left. And this is the hallway. Uh, this is kind of the entrance way. The, the door is right behind us here. And this place, there's the door where we come in. Uh, we're only one block off the beach. We just walk out. It's not even really a block. There's just a building in front of us. We walk around the building. We're standing on the beach. And we had our own parking space. This was a four bedroom apartment. It's just me and my wife. We only needed one bedroom, uh, but this was available for rent and it was at a great price. This is the bedroom that we stayed in.
Super nice place. Built-in closet. Had two bathrooms. This is the other bathroom. We really enjoyed everything about the whole entire area. The food, the people, the atmosphere, the waves, the ocean, the views. It's definitely one of our favorite places. This was one of the other bedrooms straight across from us. We didn't even use this bedroom at all. And then I had one other bedroom where we basically tossed our luggage in there. And that's all this room was used for was throwing our luggage on, on the bed. Okay, our beer and wine challenge. We got beer. We got three wines. I've been loving this Montebello. <laughs> or over however you say it. This last store we went to, it only had this smaller size bottle. But then I tried this Bella Hortez. That's very good. Sweet. Kind of reminds me of Sangria. And now I am trying Porta di Ravisera. I'm probably not even coming close to saying this right. And my wife loves. How do you say this, Donna? Sagris? Sagris? Sagris. This beer is awesome. I like it too. We've tried Super Bach as well, and uh, for us at least, we prefer this one. Now, this Porta di, this stuff here, tastes like a more traditional wine. It's not as sweet as this one, and it's not quite as good as this one. It's a little bit dry. What's amazing to me from coming from the United States is the price of all this. This is like a dollar seventy-five at the grocery store. These were like five and six dollars. This was I think two ninety-nine for the small bottle. The larger bottle is like five or six dollars. These same kind of wines in the United States. We'd be paying like $20 a bottle and for the beer or, or more, especially for an import. And the beer, this would probably be close to $5. We're looking at less than half the price, probably about two thirds of the price less here in Portugal. Thank you for watching our video on Nazare Portugal. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We have many videos on the way. We will also start covering everything we do as we get ready to move to Portugal. Yes, we are planning our move and have a lot to sell and get ready. We will be taking our dog Jack with us as well. See you all next time.